Okay guys, so as I said in a couple videos back, and because I got a request to actually unload this gun, it's going to be actually kind of important for this video that this gun is unloaded. I'm going to quickly take a moment to unload it. And before we get into this video, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more awesome Alaskan content like this. Anyways, like I was going to say today, I'm going to be doing a video on a little mod that I kind of found kind of first through, um, <laughs> dang this thing's wet, but uh, that I kind of first found through Instagram and I didn't first know what I was looking at when I saw it, but it was actually a little thing called the Grip Force Adapters and they're a pretty cool thing, you guys can go check them out. I don't know if I'll leave a link in the uh, description below for Grip Force Adapters, but uh, because I didn't know what they were at first, I started thinking about how I could actually copy this guy's design. Like he had a grip force adapter on the back strap of his gun. And so I was sitting there thinking, I'm like, how can I make a grip force adapter for my gun? Because at the time I didn't even know they existed. I later found out what they were, but I actually kind of like my idea more because one, it's free, and two, it actually works a little bit better for me, I think, because it doesn't take up as much back space on the back strap here. So to go over what I kind of found out, first, for those who don't know what a grip force adapter is, it is a back strap extension or kind of add-on that you can add to the Glock platform and Glock frame uh, for the Glock. And do keep in mind that my free kind of DIY grip force adapter can only be done on Gen 4, Gen 5, and Gen Up. So you can only be done on Gen 4s and Up. So just keep that in mind. So if you do want to do this on like a Gen 1, 2, or 3, you will need to go to Grip Force Adapters. But if you have a Gen 4 or up, because Gen 4s are pretty popular, um, this is actually a way you can kind of do it yourself and save yourself the money and actually kind of have a cool little project. So that's what we're going to be going over today. And well, let's get into it. So, like I said, when I first saw the Instagram picture, I didn't even know what they were. So immediately I started thinking, I'm like, wow, that's a really awesome idea. And I had originally had the back strap looked similar to this on the handgun, just so that I could have that beaver tail and get that comfort. And I liked that. But for me, the even the medium, and I was running the medium, this is the large back strap here, but I was running the medium, and even the medium was a little bit too much uh, Glock hump for me. So I could shoot it pretty well, but I would feel a little bit of discomfort. But I liked it because of the whole back strap thing. And so that's why I continued to use it that way. But when I started to sit down and think about it, I actually thought and found out that there's a way that you can retrofit the, your, the Glock uh, standard back straps for, to be similar to a grip force adapter. And so basically all you need to do is have, I personally use basically their small bolt cutters, but they're basically like small bolt cutters, industrial scissors. And what I did was I just kind of cut off and the one that I particularly used here, sorry, I'm trying to keep this gun out of the snow because it's just gonna melt to the table. So I'm just gonna throw it there because we don't need the gun for this in particular. But basically what I did was, um, the one that I actually used is this one and all it, it started out looking like this and basically what I did was I just came along with scissors and I'll roll in some closer up pictures here and I actually just chopped this bottom half so you guys can see like here I chopped the bottom half off of the grip or the back strap and so basically all I did was just chop it off right about where this grippy part ends on the back strap and the smooth Glock logo begins. That's also right about below where this pin stakes in. Now it's really crucial that when doing this you want to make sure that you cut low enough on the back strap that you have room for the pin right here. So you guys will know, especially you guys who have Glocks, know, you'll know what I'm talking about. But that pin is how you affix back straps or even grip force adapters to the back of the handgun. So it's going to be critical that you leave, you cut low enough that you leave enough room for that pin. You don't want to cut off that pin area. You want to make sure that that can still be pinned through. So basically what I did was I just took those industrial scissors, chopped right around where that grip started or stopped. And like I said, the Glock logo began. And so that still left me enough room to pin the, the back strap through. And then at that point, all I did was going back over to the gun, 
I basically just pinned it up and just saw how it was, kind of played with it, used it for a little while, and it worked out well. And the only other thing that I would recommend doing, you don't necessarily have to do this, but I think it's preferable to do this, is basically come back through with either sandpaper or a Dremel is what I personally use, and just kind of round off that plastic right where it interfaces. So you'll notice here, and it'll be hard to see on the camera, but there's a little bit of a drop off from this uh, back strap. It adds extra plastic to the handle. So that when it goes, 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 and that stops, there's a little bit of a drop off there. And so I just recommend uh, taking a Dremel or sandpaper and kind of just smoothing that transition line so that when you're holding it in your hand, you don't feel that drop off transition as much. So that's my recommended one thing for it. And so it's really only a two-step process. And for me, this entire process from like start to finish really only took about 30 minutes to make. And once again, if you do have, if you get a Glock new in box or it comes with its original box with its original back strap, which will look like this, all you have to do is just take one of the two uh, beaver tails, this is one of them, and this is the other one. It comes with two of them, so you have two tries at this. And all you have to do is just take one of them, preferably probably the medium one, but it, it's up to you guys, and just chop it off right around, like I said, where that grip starts, or where the grip pattern starts on the back strap, and then just kind of smooth it out using sandpaper or Dremel, and boom, you pretty much have a completely useful and completely a lot like the actual um, grip force adapter but what i personally like about this as opposed to the grip force adapter i'll roll in some pictures of it is the grip force adapter has some ribbing right here in the uh, palm area or right here where kind of this as i point down myself right where this kind of um, area this kind of like u-shaped or v-shaped area in your palm is it has some ribbing right there and i personally never held a grip force adapter uh, that's been attached to a handgun so i can't speak for sure on this but it looks like it would be very uncomfortable and what i like about if you just do the mod for the glock uh, extension here or if you just use the glock back strap for this it's smooth it's completely exactly like your normal glock and so it feels exactly like you're holding a glock handle and where i cut it i can actually barely tell the transition i mean if i really kind of move my thumb around i can feel where the two pieces of plastic uh, transition but overall and actually handling it and holding it out like that i really can't feel it same with shooting and once again before you put a lot of rounds through this just make sure to around this because especially like I did this with scissors basically industrial scissors or shears and so I kind of had some like scissor marks if you guys know what I mean like where you'll cut and then you'll cut again and they won't be exactly aligned so there was some kind of like sharpish plastic where it was comfortable enough to hold but the recoil of the handgun would kind of bite my skin so I just want to make sure to come back through with a dremel clean that up polish it out make it nice and smooth and now there's none there's no rough areas in it it's completely comfortable to hold and use so anyways guys it's a really simple really simple mod if you guys have ever changed out a back strap on a glock you'll know how to to do this the only difference is with a normal back strap with any of these normal back straps there's three little locking clicks into the back of this little area right around here that lock in so they basically lock in i'll use this one here basically about yay like that and so that's the only piece that you don't lock in, but you just wanna make sure when installing this back strap that you lock in the front little bit uh, up here, like the back strap or the beaver tail, sorry. Up here, you wanna make sure that that locks in and then you just take it, hold this. It's hard to do a show with mittens, but you'll basically hold it down and shove the pin through. And so really easy, really simple. I do recommend taking the slide off for doing this uh, mod, but it's really easy. Once again, one of the reasons why I did not choose to actually show you guys doing this is because it's so simple to do it's really not that hard and I think you guys can grasp uh, what I did overall but if you guys need more clarification uh, please let me know in the comment section below and I can inform you guys even more but anyways I thought this was a really cool addition and like I said I really love having the beaver tail but at the same time not having that large hump down here so you can still get a really comfortable grip it's very normal to the Glock style but then you still get that advantage of having the beaver tail so you can ride your hand up really high on the 
frame of the Glock, which the frame of the Glock already has a pretty low bore axis, but the, having the beaver tail there allows you to really push up on your handgun and have an even better grip on it. And I found that with the beaver tail addition to this handgun, I can fire just a little bit faster because like I said, I can get up higher on the gun without worry of slide bite. And so overall, I'm just really able to hold that gun nice and right. So anyways, Hopefully you guys will try this out. Like I said, it's a pretty basic mod, nothing too complicated here, but I really do like the way it turned out. I think it was really nice and overall really well done. Anyways guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this and as always, God bless and I'm out.